Let's grab some things from the garden to make lunch. Starting off with some celery. Some thyme. A bay leaf. Broccoli. I already cut off the main head of these, so these are just the little side shoots that I'm taking, by the way. There are potatoes hiding in here, and I really want to grab at least just a few of them. <laughs> All right, this is what I'm going with. It's hard to tell, but these dark ones are a really beautiful purple. Let's see if I can find some carrots. So here is what we ended up grabbing. Purple potatoes are probably going to turn everything purple. I'm going to throw some sweet potatoes in too. Yum. Let's see what the garden will give us for dinner. First, I grab these sweet potatoes that have been curing. I'm going to grab this beautiful bell pepper. I'm gonna grab some of these lunchbox peppers. These are sweet peppers. Ryan's making dinner tonight and he wants to make like a kind of sausage and peppers, something, something. Also gonna grab a few of these Mad Hatter sweet peppers. For a bit of spiciness, I'm gonna grab some jalapenos. And gonna grab some of these berries, crazy cherry tomatoes. Oops. And he's requested a little sprig of rosemary. So all of this is going out to the grill. We've got the tomatoes, the peppers cut up, and I found some shishitos in the fridge that I'm just gonna throw on the grill. We've got buns for the sausage to go on, some cheese. Ryan made these two sauces. I don't know what's in them. But they look really good. I'm excited. We've got onions and then the sausage, more tomatoes, and then the potato. And I just kind of cut it into wedges. We've got the wedges going on first. I was in charge of cutting the wedges and um, there's a few weird looking ones in here. Oh, that smells so good. Thanks, Garden. Let's make lunch for my garden. First, let's get ahead of Radicchio. 
Let's get some parsley. Cucamelons. Grab a Meyer lemon. Grab a little bit of mint. Okay, several of you commented and said the exact same thing, so I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you that it's ready. <laughs> okay, I've got my corn. This is the only cob that this plant produced, but I've kind of peeled it back a little bit. Let's see if it's ready. Also, ignore my nails. Sorry. <gasps> Look, I grew corn. I finally grew corn. I can't believe this. What? Are you kidding me? Okay, all right. I believe you. I'm gonna harvest it. All right, here we go. Okay, I feel like I butchered that. Ah, okay, I need two hands. Oh, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Got it. I just peeled it back. I'm so proud of this beautiful cob of corn. After, I think, three failed attempts, I believe this is my fourth time trying to grow corn. I finally, finally grew corn. I have a couple of other plants in the works, so yeah, don't give up. Don't give up growing corn. I think I'm gonna have this for dinner. I'm just gonna like old fashioned, boil it, butter it, salt and pepper. Oh, I can't wait. I just took it out of the wrapper. Look at how beautiful it is. This variety is called peaches and cream, by the way. Thanks garden. This looks so good. I love just eating my corn like this. Simple, just a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Mmm, it smells so good. Okay, let's taste it. This might be hard to do with one hand, but. <clears throat> it's so good. It's like homegrown tomatoes. Like, you know how homegrown tomatoes, they taste nothing like store tomatoes? Freshly picked corn, whole other level. Let's make some breakfast. Gonna grab some eggs. This gathers gold pepper, a couple of these little sweet lunch boxes, Lebanese squash, chives, strawberries. There's only one. <laughs> Cayenne. All right, here is what we grabbed. I'm gonna shred a couple potatoes and that squash. <laughs>
The basket, please. First off, we've got a multitude of eggplant. Two more. Just look at the size of these things. Jeez Louise. And two more. I think that's enough eggplant for today. Let's get some other stuff. I do not have the patience for Thai chilies today, so we're going to get some red habaneros. We even got some orange habaneros ready. We've also got a couple jalapenos to throw in there. Lastly, we've got a whole mess of edamame. That's, that's just one plant. Here's the rest. I think we did pretty good today. I've waited three years for this moment. Do you see what I see? Asparagus. So you're not supposed to harvest asparagus until it's third season. Here's another one that's a little bit more short and stout. I've got so many artichokes on my plants, so let's harvest a couple for dinner and then leave a couple on here for an Easter harvest basket. Let's also get a bunch of parsley. Some thyme. Look at my perennial green onions. Look how cool they look. Um, so this is a walking variety. So they bloom and then they they set out a bulb that gets heavy and droops down and replants itself. Um, so that's how I'm able to continuously harvest green onions throughout the year. So let's get uh, one or two of these. Thank you to the lady that laid this egg. I think it was either Denise or Gladys. Rosa lays blue eggs and then Meg lays very light pale eggs. All the beautiful flowers are starting to bloom in my garden. I think spring is my favorite season, officially. It's just such a good feeling. I also need some orange blossoms to make a cocktail, but look how many orange blossoms are on this tree. There's also a ton of bees, so just gotta be a little bit careful here. Um, just need like a little handful of them. And look how many orange blossoms have already fallen to the ground here. I think this is gonna be a big orange harvest this fall. And then I have a few kumquats left, so let's grab some of those. And then this is the first year that I've had blossoms on my blood orange tree. I'm really excited about this. Let's get a lime. All right, let's make some dinner. First, we have to start with a cocktail. I found this really cool Flora Adora gin that's supposed to be steeped with um, floral elements, which I thought was perfect for the um, orange blossom. A little bit of elderflower liqueur. I got simple syrup right here. And lastly, the orange blossom. We're going to add one egg white to make it nice and foamy. And then I'm going to reserve the egg yolk for dinner. All right, time for a taste test. Cheers. That is so good. I love the citrus and the floral elements of it. It's so good and like perfect for spring.
Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. All right, so I was out in the garden today planting a oya, and I looked over, saw my greens, and thought, you know what? I want some greens and cornbread, honey. So I went ahead and chopped up one of these big heads, got the cleaning greens, and making cornbread. I picked up one of these packs from Aldi. They don't have any dairy. Added a flax egg instead of a real egg. Add a little bit of almond milk. Put my cornbread in the oven and started washing out my greens. So I'm growing mustard greens, collard greens, and kale in the backyard. Went ahead and got some of these leaves, washed them, chopped them real finely. Put bell pepper, onion, a little bit of garlic, a bunch of seasonings and herbs in the pan. I had a little bit of sweet peppers, a little chili flakes, let that thing cook. Let me tell y'all, this is the easiest thing to grow. It's mustard greens, collard greens, kale, anything hearty like that in the wintertime. It's nothing like getting greens out your backyard mm. and having a good old healthy meal. Okay, I'm out in the garden. Let's do a harvest and make some food. Look how pretty everything's looking. Broccoli. I'm going to take a few of the baby broccoli leaves. These are edible and yummy. Some purple kale. Look at all of these gorgeous greens. So we're just going to come in here and grab some. Okay, we got the whole thing root and all. Red lettuce. Snap peas. And a big thank you to Bonnie Plants for partnering with me in my garden this year. Let's grab a little bit of basil. The Husky Cherry Red Tomato. Oh my gosh, these are so incredibly delicious. You can't even understand. Got everything washed. And I'm making my own salad dressing. So I did olive oil, balsamic vinaigrette, um, Dijon mustard, garlic, and some tangerine juice, because I like it a little bit sweet. Um, and then salt, so nice and simple. I'm gonna do a personal size a little lunch salad. So here we go, red lettuce. The greens from the baby broccoli. Purple kale. More greens. Baby broccoli, snap peas, cherry tomatoes, and some basil. Okay, adding the dressing, and I also forgot to mention I did put a little bit of honey in my dressing. And here's our fresh garden table salad. I've spotted some cucumbers out here in the garden already, so let's make pickles. This is a big one. Okay, I might have let some of these get a little too big. Another one. Need some jalapenos because I like it spicy. And we need some dill because duh. Yum, 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 yum. I forgot I also need some garlic. Heating up the brine. Got everything all chopped up. I got some spears, some slices, the jalapenos, garlic cloves, and dill. So cukes go in first. Garlic, jalapenos, peppercorns, one bay leaf, and finally shove the dill in there. Then pour in the brine to the top. So good. There is nothing in this world better than homemade pickles. Nothing. Thanks, garden. It's garden harvest time. Let's see if we could fill up this basket. Luckily, we have plenty of broccoli side shoots. Off to a good start. And how about a little bit of fennel? Actually, how about two? I'll slice these bulbs up and toss them in a nice Dijon vinaigrette. Fill them up quick. And while we're in the neighborhood, I think I see something really tasty. And yeah, you can grow Brussels sprouts in San Diego. I think I just figured out what's for dinner. And yes, you can eat the leaves. To finish filling this out, we're gonna have to go to the other garden. I think all these peas will do the trick, and I even got a little tool belt to hold my harvest. A decent haul, let's go dump it out. 
We're looking pretty monochromatic here, but I've got an idea. Oh, woo, it's a big boy. And actually I'm feeling pretty orange. Oh. Quick rinse, just the pop of color we needed. It's amazing how much variety you could grow in your backyard. Dinner time. Starting off with this sunflower head. Oh, I almost caught it. <laughs> I'm gonna clean the head up out here so I don't make a mess inside. Beautiful. An onion. Some bell peppers. Chestnut chocolate tomato. A couple of midnight snack cherry tomatoes. Um. Pfft. Here you go, Thumbles. <laughs> Couple of these Impala Serranos. Some thyme. Oregano. Some chives. All right, so here's what we grabbed. I rubbed avocado oil into the sunflower head and then seasoned it with a bunch of seasoning. Same with the bell peppers. And then I don't have a grill basket, so I threw the serrano and the onions with some of the herbs inside of my cast iron. Sunflower is going face down for now. Threw the bell peppers on. There is some serious bird drama going on up here. And Rosie wants in on it. <laughs> I have some leftover meat from dinner last night, so I'm gonna add that. Oh, I also added in some of those herbs that I just harvested. Just gonna let that heat for a second. Yum.